lightning, thunder. What does thunder have to do with the Turpin family? Find out in today's episode of Turpin Tree. Today we're talking about the Turpin family name. In my childhood years, friends and others would playfully distort our family name. Perhaps you know what I'm talking about. They would call me names like Turpentine, Turnip, Tarpon, Terrapin, Turtle, Turtle Soup, Turpini, even the Great Turpini. They called me Turp, Twerp, and there was Niprut. That's Turpin spelled backwards. Throughout history, the Turpin name has appeared with various spellings. Turpin with an E, Turpine with an E on the end, Turbin, Turpin, Turpin with an I replacing the U. Why so many different spellings? Remember not too long ago, before we had dictionaries like Webster's, the spellings of many words were not standardized. In fact, the transmitting of a name from one generation to another was often based on how the name was spoken, how it was pronounced, how it sounded, not how it was written. Among illiterate people, and there were many of them, the name was not written. They just spoke it. Then factor in the varied dialects and accents, and it's no wonder why such a wide variety of spellings would show up. Even now, I often have to spell out my last name when introducing myself. Hello, I have a reservation. The name is Randy Turpin, T-U-R-P-I-N. The Turpin name is relatively rare as far as the frequency of family names is concerned. The Turpin name ranks at about number 3005 in America. That means 3,004 family names are more common than Turpin. Ethnically and racially, most Turpins are white, but we are found among other racial and ethnic groups as well. According to the 2010 American Census, 83% of Turpins are white, 11.5 are black, less than 1% are Asian or Pacific Islander, Less than 1% are American Indian or Alaskan Native. Just under 2% are a mix of two or more races. And slightly more than 2% are Hispanic. Where can you find other Turpins? Where do most of us Turpins live? Well, let's start with America. In the U.S., more Turpins live in California than any other state. California is home to over 1,200 Turpins. There are over 1,000 in Texas, and I'm not going to go through the list of all of the other states. The rest of us are everywhere else. Every state, all 50, has at least a few Turpins. No state has less than eight. How about globally, internationally? According to a website called forebears.io, in 2014, there were more Turpins in France than any other country in the world, 17,582 to be precise. The United States was in second place with 15,153 Turpins. Canada came in third, England fourth, Spain fifth, and the rest of us are scattered in 78 other countries. Grand total, that's 42,389 known Turpins on planet Earth. When you consider the total world population, there's not many of us. If you are a Turpin, you are special. Not many people get to be a Turpin. But how did we get such a rare and special name? What does our family name mean, and how did it come into being? We're going to explore the history, origin, and meaning of the Turpin name, but let's first clear up some misconceptions.
When I was a teenager, I saw an advertisement for a company that could tell you the origin of your family name. I sent in my order, received the report a few weeks later, according to the document that arrived in the mail. The Turpin name originated in France, and it was associated with a family group that lived near Terebinth trees, and sap was extracted from those trees for the making of turpentine. According to this report, the name Turpin came from the name of the tree, the Terebinth tree, or turpentine, the product derived from the tree. But don't take that idea to the bank just yet. A few years later, I saw an unpublished study that claimed the Turpins did not get their name from turpentine or the Terebinth tree. Rather, it was the other way around, according to this claim. The claim was that turpentine got its name from the Turpins. The author of that particular report said the Turpin family was once involved in shipping. Back in the days when everything was shipped by large, multi-masted sailing vessels, and they used tree sap to waterproof the wooden hulls of ships, and supposedly, according to that author, the waterproofing technique became known as turpentining because the turpin supposedly invented the process and the substance became known as turpentine. Well, that sounds very interesting but I have found no other sources supporting that claim. So there's hardly any evidence supporting associating the Turpin name with the Terebinth tree or turpentine. Another theory is that Turpin is derived from the French word turpis, that's probably not the way you pronounce it in French. Turpis is a word that meant ugly. According to this view, a person might take on the Turpis name if they wanted to appear as humble. It was self-deprecating. Mister, what's your name? Oh, my name is ugly. Turpis. I think I would change my name. But the similarity in spelling and pronunciation alone is not a suitable reason to assume the name Turpus is the origin and root meaning of the Turpin family name. So what is the meaning of our name? And where did it come from? To find the answer, we have to go to England. In England's census records from the year 1086 to 1273, we find hints regarding the origin of her family name. In those records, we find names like Turfin, Torfin, Thorfinny, and Thorfinus. The Oxford Dictionary of English Surnames says that all of these names evolved from the name Thorfin, or Thorfinner. And all of those names are variants of the name Turpin. Historically, the name originated as Thorfinn, or Thorfinner. It was a Norse name. a Viking name. It was a pagan name. And this is how the name would have been written in Nordic runes. The name Thorfinn or Turpin 
was found in England and Scotland in places originally settled by Vikings, the Norse Scandinavians. The Vikings started invading the British Isles around 789. And based on what I have learned so far, it appears that they started settlements there about 76 years later in 865. But before the name Turpin appeared in England and Scotland, it first appeared in France. After the Vikings captured the city of Paris in 845, the Vikings, or Northmen as they were called, occupied the coastal region of France along the English Channel, the place where these Northmen, or Normans, lived became known as Normandy. That is where the name Thorfinn first changed to Turpin. This change of names also happened in the British Isles, but it first happened in France. And some of these Turpins moved to England with William the Conqueror when he invaded England in 1066. So our Turpin name was originally Thorfinn. But what does the name Thorfinn mean? As a child growing up in Carswell Hollow outside of Kimball, West Virginia, I remember being fascinated by the lightning and the thunder. I used to think that the awesome sound of rolling thunder was the sound of God doing something in the heavens. Well, the Vikings and their ancestors thought the same thing. The Germanic tribes of the Scandinavian region were a people close to nature, and their fascination with thunder inspired stories about a god named Thor. The Norse god Thor was the personification of thunder, and he was the god of battle. Thor was one of the chief gods of the Norse pantheon. Thor was commonly depicted wielding his hammer to crush his enemies. So the first part of the name Thorfinn is the name Thor. But what about the last part, Fen? Fen, or Fenner, was originally an ethnic identity. Fens were natives of far northern Scandinavia. Yet the name was not limited to that region or that group of people. Boys from all parts of Scandinavia were named Thorfinn. In all likelihood, a parent would name their baby boy Thorfinn if they dreamed of him one day becoming strong and mighty like Thor. Thorfinn, a pagan name. It was a name conceived in a place of darkness, deep spiritual darkness, but the name would not remain in darkness. Over time, not all, but many who would bear this name would come into the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what your family history might be. A name can be redeemed.
So there you have it. The Turpin family name was inspired by the mighty sound of thunder. If you are a Turpin, if you want to, I suppose you could say we are sons and daughters of thunder. Like James and John, perhaps, the disciples of Jesus. I wonder if it was because they eventually became bold and fierce in a good way in their devotion to carry, proclaim, and demonstrate the gospel of Jesus. Okay, children of thunder, that's the story about the origin and meaning of your family name, the Turpin family name.